making something new. He's starting something new. Tony, God bless you. Good to see you. God bless you. Tony Blondis. God is starting something new. We've seen where God has taken now the, the acts that were uh, given as a foreshadow of the temple, and now he's, he's, he's made his people that temple. Where we saw in Acts in the beginning how uh, fire and wind and uh, 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 a language came. We see that on the Mount of Zion when God showed his presence to the people. And in the temple, in the Holy of Holies. But now God is establishing something new where the people now are the temple. And uh, uh, the people now are taking a, a new message. A message of of grace and love and uh, mercy of Jesus Christ. And their focus is on the resurrection of Jesus Christ, how Jesus died and resurrected. And in that resurrection, there was newness. There's something new starting. And I want to tell every one of <laughs> us tonight that God is doing the same thing, Mascare Romania. God is doing the same thing, Mascara Mara Churches. There's old stuff passing away, and God is doing something new, and it's up to us to be courageous enough. It's up to us to be uh, sensitive enough to allow God to do that new thing in us, not in the building, not in the, in the organization, but in us, because it's going to start with you. It's going to start with me. It's going to start when you're at the mall, when you're at the supermarket, when you're playing baseball. That's when it's going to start. Everyone's a Christian in church. Everyone. But it's out in the dark world. And tonight, last uh, study was a, a few weeks ago because uh, uh, we were. I was uh, in another city. Uh, I was with Pastor uh, Jimmy at a wedding in California. And, we didn't have time to do it. And then before that, the, uh, the ordination. So we didn't have time to do it then. So I apologize. But we left off where Paul enters a city. And in that city, uh, the people take Paul's message. And they're excited about Paul's message. They, matter of fact, they, 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 they're so excited. They, they want to make them gods. And they start to want to sacrifice to them. And Paul and Barnabas ripped their clothes because that's not what they're there for. I cheat Oden Rundo. All they want is the people to grow on Dodel. And then some people poisoned those people's minds to turn against them. And they stoned Paul. They stoned Paul and they throw him out of the city. But the Bible says that some disciples just got around him and he got back up again. They left him for dead, but then he got back up again. And went right back into the city and started to do the work for God. And then the end of chapter 14, Mokol, that they uh, began to report to the men of God that were in Jerusalem, to the other apostles and to the council. They started to report to them how God was working in the Greeks and in the Gentile community. But on the Manuskai, would never, people would never imagine. Uh, God to use them. People would never imagine for God to, to bring his holiness to Gentiles. Who would think that God would give us the grace and mercy so we can be part of his family, part of this holy nation, a royal priesthood, a temple. Well, God has given us that honor. I'll say it again. God has given Amen Le Rome gypsies that honor. Let us respect Amen. that. Hold it important. Let's make Amen. it important. Amen? Amen. So tonight we're going to talk about Kamesam Rom. We got a lot of baggage. We came to Christ with a lot of baggage. Amen. Maybe the maybe the only one that uh is going to have maybe an issue with this, is uh, our, our young brother Tony from Cleveland. He's a young man brought up in the, in the Word of God, and God bless him. But a lot of us grew up in superstition. A lot of us grew up in customs, Hawaiian customs. 
And some customs are good. I don't want to. I don't want anyone to think that we're we're talking against. But some customs keep us from growing on the deal. Right. Some of us grew up in in uh, situations where we're religious, and in that religiousness, it's tough to get closer to God and to do that new thing that God wants to do. I got God. We're gonna start in fifteen. Uh, welcome everyone who's coming into the room. Uh, all you guys, God bless you guys. Everyone new that came in the room, God bless you. Now we're going to start in chapter 15, where now they're reporting. They go back to Jerusalem, and they're talking to the council. Now uh, 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 Paul and Barnabas are talking to James and Peter and John and the rest of the men that are in the, uh, uh, the council uh, in Jerusalem. The church is based in Jerusalem right now and in Antioch. And right now, that's what they're reporting to. Right? We'll start in 15. If there's any questions or any anybody want to comment, I'll give you guys a minute to do that right now. Okay. Let's go. 15. Some men, can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, you're Some, good. Yeah. Okay. Some men came down from Judea and began teaching the brethren Unless you are in circumcised according to the customs of Moses, you cannot be saved. Okay, uh, unless you do the customs or the traditional thing or the religious thing that the way God uh, uh, intended on Tunchi, you cannot be saved. And I want to say this. This represents a work-based uh, salvation. And all of us, all of us come to Christ and have that work-based mentality. Nobody starts, everybody comes to Christ and says, I got to be better. I got I to gotta, I gotta do something. I got to do something. And, and that's okay. But God, God, God is doing something new. Lengo tradition says, uh, that would set them apart. But later on, in the books of uh, Paul and the epistles, or Paul Muto, now we are to circumcise our hearts. They shingle them are we low. Now we are to, to set ourselves apart, not by an act, but by uh, uh, because of the grace of God, satraiz, and a living sacrifice. So it's no longer uh, uh, something where you can just do and you're saying, no, uh, now it's by the grace of God. And nothing separates, Luke, God bless you. Uh, nothing separates now uh, where God is. Uh, uh, no, God sees us as his church. God sees us as his people. So uh, we'll, 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 we'll pick up on two. And when Paul and Barnabas had great a dissension and debate with them, the brethren determined that Paul and Barnabas and some of the others uh, of them should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and the elders uh, concerning this issue. Now, there was great debate over this because mardosas, mardosas or traditional customs or religion and then ending. So soon, ending. What have we grown up with that we think uh, but really it's keeping us from growing. It's keeping others from seeing God in us. It's really judging others. Uh, we're thinking that they can't be saved uh, because uh, they don't act a certain way or they don't look a certain way or they don't uh, or because they're, uh, he's a drug addict so he doesn't deserve. No, 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 no. God, Jesus Christ died and rose for the drug addict, for the alcoholic, for the, for the sinner, for the worst of the worst, which we were. And part of the team circumcision was a righteousness. And that's what made them better than others. And I want to tell you, the Arakazame from self-righteousness. The Arakazame, because even in Christianity, we can do things that, God never intended. We can feel because we work in church or because we serve in church that we're better than others. Aratu, watch yourself from that 
think I some mende. Well, I've got 40 years of Christianity, so I'm uh, uh, I can I can say certain things, do certain things, or I can uh, I'm better. No, please. The level of love that Christ has for me, he has for the person who gives his life to Christ today. I grow. You grow. God doesn't grow. God doesn't become more. Uh, no. His love was given to the fullest. For me, a 40-year-old Christian, and for the person, Gaidel Pescotrayo, today. So let's watch ourselves from religion or from tradition. We're going to pick it up at dream. Uh, they went to the council told, of men in Jerusalem. Therefore, being sent on their way by the church, they were passing through both um, pho Phoenicia. Well, let me try it again. Phoenicia and Samaria, describing in detail the conversion of the Gentiles, and, and were being and bringing great joy to all the brethren. And as they were going through the cities, then as Duma, Saravena, the Gentiles, Kadel. When they arrived to Jerusalem, uh, where uh, they were received by the church and the apostles and the elders, and they reported all that God had done with them. But some, the sect of the Pharisees, very important, and the Pharisees, Mardosa's religion. And the Pharisees, Mardosa's tradition, customs, and they had a hard time in changing. And sometimes we have a hard time in changing. But God demands change. God is starting something new. You can't start something new when you still hold on to something old. Amen? Amen. Let's keep going. The sect of the Pharisees, these Pharisees who had believed, they stood up saying, it is necessary that they to circumcise them and to uh, direct them to observe the law of Moses. It's necessary. Mardos has a religion on the land. I think I'm making these sometimes, and maybe some guys will agree with me. Maybe you got some guys can share on this. I'm making these well homesome. I hate that uh, word. How about how about this? I've heard this a few times this week. I'm a father, and when it comes to my kids, I put Christianity aside. From things I see Mardo and Demendi from day one. No. The the things that God is doing new, Man. there is no there is no compromise. There is no such thing as a Romano Christian, where it's different. There is no such thing as Legage Christians, Ile Rome Christians. There should not be any difference. Trubulo Rome te aratolpe, trubulo home te tayule de blesque, trubulo home te be open to change. Pharisees, they stood up and they demanded, Musai, Musai, we've got to obey the law of Moses. But the whole reason Jesus came was to fulfill the law of Moses. Because the law of Moses was given, that the law could never be held by man. The law was to show us we need a savior. When you were to read the law of Moses, the conclusion that you came to was impossible. I need someone. I need someone to help me with this. And that's why God sent his son, Jesus Christ. He fulfilled the law. Now we're responsible to Christ's law. And that law is Terakazami. Love one another as you love yourself. Love your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. In those two, you keep all of them. Even those two are hard to keep. But Ando Cristo, with the power of the Holy Spirit, Saikaraz.
अब नस्ती कराफ नो नो यू गॉट टू चेंज योर माइंड दे जानेस के साइकरस विद द पावर ऑफ द होली स्पिरिट आप ओ यू डोंट नो व्हाट दे डिड टू मी दे हर्ट दैट नो नो लिसन टू मी मेक पर ऑल दू होले दे ब्लेसको डोंट बी लाइक दीस फेरिसीज दैट स्टैंड अप एंड टॉक मुसाइ वी हैव टू डू इट बिकॉज़ दैट्स हु वी आर दैट्स नॉट बारिलाम दैट्स नो नो यू आर द बाइबल डिक्लेअर्स अ a new creation not something refurbished not something i says of mudardo ala shadazo del sirza no you are something new the bible calls you and me unique never again seen never ne- uh, never uh, before seen you and i the church of god is supposed to be unique different special set aside for god i got god they're trying to hold them to religion musa kalam ka cha at to be saved but the those pharisees said that it's necessary and they directed them to observe the law of moses the apostles and the elders came together to look into this matter now not as easy guys let's not uh, uh, think that it's easy amara papuri kanavile kadel ame karavas kadel even in our daily life it's not easy to get rid of custom it's not easy to get rid of religion but we got to pay attention to it so it doesn't seep in we got to pay attention to it so it doesn't hold us back or hold others back amen amen maybe buddha abduma anybody got a comment or want to say anything Come on, guys. Has the James? Well, earlier. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh uh, no, go ahead, fellow. Go ahead. No, I was. I was going to say earlier. I was listening to. I don't know if anybody like looks at the Instagram uh, preachers. And there's one Gajol. Is I'm pretty sure his name is Andrew Carter. Andrew F. Carter. Shola Gajol. Okay. And he was saying earlier to what you said a little earlier in the in the preaching. uh that uh that it's it's not I, i'm going to try to say it as best as i can as best as i remembered it uh it's not the christians that god wants to come after it's the sinners that he wants to come after that's who he's looking for he wants to, he wants the, the 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 people that's doing wrong he wants the people that's out there it's not it's not the 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 christians that he's that he's hurt for he wants to get those people and tony sometimes we put a picture up on how a christian should look and then we the, we speed us man son from getting closer to god well if they don't look like this if they don't wear a tie in church if they don't uh, uh if they're not uh, a certain class then uh, uh, we just don't respect them god well, that's a hor- well that well that's a horrible way to to look at people you're Absolutely. not supposed to look at anybody like that You and know, that's the way they were looking at people they were saying that they if they're not circumcised then they cannot be saved you know you said something earlier that i it's a, it's a word that i really i really dislike i, I you know god forgive me but when when i i can't stand kind of pin in it warm warm some yeah that really turns me it turns because but you that means but you all right i guess that means we can get away with whatever we want there's no. no gray areas with god no i don't i don't believe so i don't think there should god be bless you tony god i mean you. absolutely you know i'm no i'm nowhere near anything great and i mean anything even good i'm just i just i i hate those ways i just don't like them but tonight's lesson is being open to change and that's what we got to do be open to change from our old ways past the games yeah oh uh, nothing different back then what's going on today very good uh uh people who preach grace and the people who preach works and they come to this dispute the pharisees and the sect they should have just accept jesus christ they should have got up and out oh jesus ninga hey those guys they would have they would have loved to see me in this day to preach they just should have accept so the messiah and embrace it and Amen. embrace the grace and embrace the the newness and embrace the the cuz this there was called the way antunchi to to embrace the way but this so so uh pastor ronnie tony bro we came to the conclusion cuz this was the magavas chimanga i don't want to argue anymore 
it don't I just want them of us Dixo Penope they came together because it was a serious matter mm. oh God, this is a serious matter we Watch can't the just, yeah we can't just vote them out of us we need to we we have to thank God uh, give me a few minutes here please oh oh uh, oh Eli Solomon. He turned them away three times. Even though Eli was not doing what he was supposed to do, he was on his way out. Uh, we have been blessed with elders like my father and Pastor Rooney. And it is to take it to them. And we should... Uh, they went to the elders, to the to the apostles. We need. We've been blessed with these people. They've been through it. They've seen it. Understand, uh, Pastor? Rambosu? Absolutely. The, there's a scripture on the Proverbs uh, eleven fourteen. I'm told that in the counsel of many, Amen. there's victory. <laughs> hey. Sometimes we think that we take it in our own hands. This is the way it should be. This is the hey. way. God didn't intend one person. To run church. Amen. Gotta, Pastor Jimmy said it beautifully. Amen. We need to bring it to them because it's a serious matter. Not that's right. tells, well, this is the way it should be and that's it. No. In the council of many, Shawadi, what should we do? Uh, this is a big thing. And Nichomotopian 7, after much debate, uh, after there had been much debate, Peter stood up and he said to them, Brethren, you know that the early days God made a choice among you that they, but that by my mouth the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, testified to them, giving them the Holy Spirit just as he did us. Oh, oh Peter, listen to me. God is using everyone. God is, 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 is the Holy Spirit is being poured out on everyone. Listen to this. Jimmy will understand this. And there was a section called the piano section. Because everyone who sat in the piano section was important. And uh, then there was the balcony where all of the uh, riffraff stood in. That's I, was church. In, I was in that one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beginning of church in, in California. Yeah. But that, as we grow, we understand. With much debate, we need to understand. Manai's piano sections, I bow to you. They have us right. together on Dodell. They put Hill Odell on Congarato, places we never expected. God is not going to do that with a mentality, with a mind of religion, with a mind of I'm better than, with a mind that only certain people. Oh, no. And we have to do it together. Not, oh, well, the pastor goes to the hospital. The pastor preaches. The pastor studies Amen. the word of God. The pastor knows the Holy Spirit. No. God, forgive us. It's not about that. It's about us being together. I got how Peter stood up at Pinas. God has given the Holy Spirit to the Gentiles, to you and me. I That's the right. same way a pastor is kept from certain things, and you never expect a pastor to do certain things. Why do you put more on him than you do on yourself? That's right. That same spirit of God lives in me and in you. Amen. Uh, uh, Pastor, and the one thing that if we don't if we don't lose sight of this, the dispute will come to an end. Is if we embrace the Messiah, the one who came, who are we are living. We are living in the time of the Messiah. We are living in the Book of Acts. The Book of Acts never ended yet, and this is the Amen. one thing that we should have to embrace Christ. That's it. Case That's close. it. Uh. Jimmy started the prayer with that Christ had compassion on the people. Christ had compassion. That's right. Let's not become self-righteous or religious, but let's allow God to, well, so this is the business I grew up in. So I got to, God forbid, God forgive Amen. us. 
If you think that the devil takes care of his children better than God does, then you don't know God. God bless you, Pastor. I love it. Amen. God, God can bless us. She tells the devil first. Uh, uh, in certain matters because we think that uh, uh, we got to do certain things to take care of our family. Arantu, Arantu from that old mentality. Tole de vez first, I dig sa rodel blosil to above and beyond what you can imagine. And, and. You start to think new. A Bible <laughs> by the renewing of their mind, they were transformed. It starts by the renewing of our mind. And here in the book of Acts, God is renewing their minds. Manaiken in circumcision. No. God has given to the Gentiles the Holy Spirit. Now we're led by the Holy Spirit, not by customs or religions. Amen. So now, Dico Peter, you know that the gospel was given to preach even to the Gentiles. And now we're in chapter and in verse 8. And God, who knows the heart, testified to them, giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he also did to us. And he <laughs> made no, dis no distinction between us and them, cleansing their hearts by faith. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let me ask every one of you tonight. Has your heart been cleansed by faith? Do you believe... That Jesus Christ died and rose on the third day. Amen. A big Somotole Bible. That the pure of heart, oh Jesus, hey Joey, God bless you. Jesus preached a sermon on the mount, a big Sopenaz. The pure of heart will see God. But what does that mean? If I'm a Christian, I'll make heaven? No, let me tell you. When you're not polluted with religion, and you're not polluted with homania. You're going to see God in everything. You're going to see God in your business, in your family, in your friends. You're going to Amen. see God on a Sanka red light. You're going to see God going to go to a hard time, good times. When Amen. you are pure in heart, going to do Come that, on. you are cleansed by faith. You will see God every day in every situation. Amen. So you don't have to die to see him. Hey, what a, <laughs> Amen. What, a, what a beautiful what a beautiful way to live to just always have god Amen. At, at your side and you're always that see that's the mindset you gotta you gotta Amen. put yourself there but I tony peter's a real person and peter stood up i need someone told peter it's attainable you can do it because it high, yes. the holy spirit yeah uh i just want that you don't have to die to see him right but the, the, it, there is it makes sense the Bible's teaching us something. Now we think we know we're not workspace, but the no. question the question is this: Is there qualifications? Absolutely. If your heart's been, well, Amen. Don't forget, don't don't lose your divano. But right. you said that he. That, let's read it again. That their uh, their hearts were cleansed, cleansing their hearts by. I wanted to read a scripture, uh, Ronnie, if that's okay with Please. you, Pastor. Uh, it's Matthew 16, 24. And I'm going to read it in two versions. One oh. in, uh, in the Amplified. Oh, Amplified, it gives us just a little more in-depth. Okay. okay. I'll read in the good news just to break it down quick. Then Jesus said to his disciples, if anyone wants to follow after me, let him deny himself take up his cross, and follow me. Amen. For whoever wants to save his life, choice. whoever wants to save his life, he will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Amen. Look, right? at your look at your free will, Milani. There's a free will right there. And here's, here's it in the Amplified. It's a little more in-depth. Take some toll. Then Jesus said to his disciples, if anyone wishes to follow me as my disciple, he must deny himself, set aside selfish interest, take up his cross, expressing willingness to endure whatever may come and follow me, believing in me. 
conforming to my example in living, and if need be, suffering, or perhaps even dying, because of faith in me. Mm. It is. So what, he, what he's saying, Pastor, is, yes, Jesus Christ first. I must I lost him in Palaliste. We have Amen. to conform. We have to conform to him, not conform to the world. That is because there has to be a transformation. Amen. God bless you, Pastor. God bless Go you. Ahead. Beautiful. God Go ahead. bless you for that, you. That was very good. Let me tell you something. We're going to the book of Acts. Does anybody remember when Philip ran after the chariot? I think it's in chapter eight. Yes. He ran after a gajoy. He ran after the chariot, and that man was a eunuch. By these qualifications, he could never be saved because he could never be circumcised. So he would never be saved. He's lost. But Sakazanis yeah. calls Philip the grace of Jesus Christ. Where can I be baptized? Right here. And that day, that eunuch, unqualified, yeah. found salvation. Shabbat It's God is qualified. God qualifies. He's not looking for the qualified. He qualifies. His grace and his mercy qualifies. But dika maro responsibility. San penazo milani. You got to deny yourself. This is faith. Aye. Has your faith, has the faith of God cleansed your heart? Well, if I'm still living like the world, then the world will never see a cleansed heart by faith. Yeah. Uh, Ronnie, I, I, I study a little bit on the Ethiopian eunuch. Uh, Odell just told Yaakov Philip, can go that way. He traveled about 40 miles with no other instructions. <laughs> he spoke the word into him. O, o eunuch, he absorbed the word. He received it with joy. He got baptized today. On the Ethiopia, Palo Godo eunuch, there's 50 million Christians. I it believes because Ethiopia is 70 million, but there's 50 million of them. Like I see Christians. Wow. That is the grace of and he's, God. he spread the gospel. Let me tell Amen. you something. When we start to put limits on who God can save and who God can yeah. work with, we got I got out Peter. Peter stood up, I think, in chat in verse 10. In verse 10. Oh Peter Del Duman Muto. Now therefore, why do we put God to the test? By placing upon the neck of the disciples a yoke which neither our fathers nor we <laughs> had been able to bear. Because we couldn't do it. You meant our fathers couldn't do it. <laughs> How do we expect a Gentile Kaichibari law and they got both to do it? Listen to me. We can't discount the drug addict. He's addicted. And that's what he knows. And it's the compassion of the church. It's the grace of God. But when the church starts to think like this, well, I don't want that kind of guy in church because uh, well, then we just lost the whole message of the grace of God. Amen. Can I does I make good though? I, I we don't want to we don't want to go around certain people because uh, they're just uh, uh, bad people. Christ ate with sinners. He didn't sin with them. He ate with sinners. Give somebody a chance. Make God showed us grace. Who are we not to show grace? I got go Peter Motol. How can we put these kind of standards on people when we are not able even to keep those standards? Christ came to fulfill those standards. Are we living up to the standards of Christ? What are the standards of Christ? To love one another as we love ourselves. To love God with all of our heart, soul, and mind. That's the standard of Christ. The moral law. The law of Christ. I oh, oh Paul, oh Peter Moto. How can we put these men to that? Uh, but Dixon Moto. 
but we believe that we are saved through grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they also are. And the, all the people kept silent and they were listening to Barnabas and to Paul as they were relating with uh, signs and wonders God had done through them among the Gentiles. Oh, Paul, oh, oh, Silas, they started to testify. Well, this, uh, this is a different church, so I don't deal with them because uh, even though they preach the right gospel, still, they're not the, the, the not a chibari limnensa. So, God forgive us. God forgive us. She jale kangri angle. If that's the way we think, well, I can't, uh, I can't uh, allow some of my choir guys to uh, on that choir because then, uh, uh, then we're lowering our standards. God forgive us. God forgive us because we are all one body working together for the kingdom of God. And if we're being selfish, I fed the and to put bodies and chairs in the church. That's not why Christ died. Lord have mercy. Lord, I have mercy. Oh, 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 Paul, I Barnabas, they're, they're testifying to the work that God has done. Let me ask you something, guys. And be honest, every one of us. Can we testify to the work that God is doing? It's a shame because I see home going backwards, not forwards. Right. I see weddings with drinking. I see the, every opportunity to pop a bottle. Uh, we pop bottles. I see every opportunity to be a bad witness. We take it. I see gambling. I see drinking. I see the old ways. I see red ribbons on people's hands. I see people, I see people uh, 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 they, they speak nasty and they don't care anymore. Ronnie, can you hear me? Yo, go ahead. Love you, brother. All right, let me explain something to you real quick. That God's been revealing to me, if you guys oh. all can hear me. Uh, you're on the money. You're talking 100%. We see it too. We see people that even got healed, that got delivered, go back into the world. And I'm talking about big healings, not the, a cold. You know what I'm saying? Big, big healings, problems. And to go back into the world. Because the scripture, John 3.16, they don't read it all. You understand my point, Ronnie? Very good. Come on. They don't read it all because it says, for God to love the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever clings to and relies on. You know what cling to means? Do you understand? There you go. It means to be welded. That's it. You got it actually means to be, it means to be welded. That's Very it. Very good. Yep. Very and good, that was my point that I wanted to explain to you guys. No, very good. But let me tell you the problem. good time. the things of the world. And we don't have, we haven't turned from it yet. One hundred. Awesome. <laughs> That's my favorite Divano. I, I hate that Divano. I can't stand that Divano. <laughs> What's up? Walter Adams, God bless you. We love you. I missed you, Joey. I haven't seen you. God bless you. It's good to see Miss you. Miss you too, man. God bless you. I just gave him the code number. And God wants to reveal his church holy, set aside. But we're not ready to leave and go. Just like the, the, see, we didn't grow up in a Jewish household. We grew up in a Romano household. So they struggled with their thing. We struggle with ours. But just like they had to let go of the Mosaic law, we got to let go of the stuff. Oh, somebody said something about free will. How do we use our free will to glorify God or to satisfy ourselves? <laughs> mm. yeah. God that's up, to, us that's up to you. There's more of us satisfying the flesh than satisfying the Christ that's supposed to live in us. Amazing. Go ahead, who, who, Tony. You want to say something? Yeah, I just want to look. Look how beautiful it is that that God gave us that He gave us that free will, 
and look what we choose to do with it. I want to tell you something, Tony. Mardepe the disciples, Jalepe the disciples over this. Pastor Jimmy made the point, and I'll say it again. We don't, we don't make this important. We don't argue it anymore. That's right. Because if we argue it, then, then we're going to be word based, and the grace yeah. guys are going to argue. That's right. Going, no, no, no. That's right. It's got to be debated. The Christian has to show that he's a Christian. Yeah. Dixo Pendel, Peter, just like us. Just like us. <laughs> Man, just like us. Hey, they got Man. the Holy Spirit just like we got the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Let me ask you guys something. This I've been to Gajit's churches. <laughs> Raise your hand if you've ever been to a Gajitano church. Hey. <laughs> If you're more spiritual in a Gajikano church than you are in a gypsy church, if you act different in a Gajikano church than you act in a gypsy church, God forgive us. Because everyone's a great driver when there's an Ibaro behind you. That's right. Very good. Very Look good. at the standard of a Christian across the board. Amen. Amen. So like, I love it. Does, does my lifestyle show my faith? I don't want to show that I'm a Jew. I don't want to show that I'm a, a, a Gentile. I don't want to show that I'm a gypsy. Ronnie. I want to show that I'm a Christian. Joey, go ahead. I heard uh, Gajo say this, and he said, uh, it says in the Bible, I don't know where, you probably know where it says it, but it says God telling somebody to preach the gospel, and if you have to, use words. Perfect. Yeah. The preaching of the gospel. But listen to me. Sometimes we get out of hand. I swear, us to the Karas things in our own way. Well, you got to live like Ronnie Legs. No. James stood up. Look what James says uh, in 13, in verse 13. After they had stopped speaking, James answered and saying, Brethren, listen to me. Simon has related how God first concerned himself about talking from among the Gentiles and a people for his name. Pinga. Oh, Peter, that God is using the, God is now bringing the Gentiles into his family. With this, the words of the prophets agree, just as it is written. Now, James uses the word of God. Where we live a Christianity without the word of God. Very good. Where we, we set standards that are not from the word of God. Uh, well, you don't you can't go to this church well you can't take communion well you can't uh, pray well you can't open up service well you can't that is not the word of god that's judging I know Peter, I cannot, I know james I cannot, the the plumb line the measure is the word of god not what i think not what you think not what our forefathers thought not with the guys who created the Christianity, Mascar Leon. No, the word of God needs to be in every one of us and in the churches, preached right, so the standard will be the same. Oh. Amen. Amen. I start to add, then remote Buchi. Christopher, go ahead. Uh, just a quick thing, what you said about James. Sometimes we forget, or I'm up what I mean. Sometimes I forget that the word of God brings correction the right way that's what it's meant to do it's supposed to bring correction but yet i don't use the word of god and i still question god Defa, why is this not right why is this not? how come i see this oh, why uh, not, not going right it's the word of god that brings correction because that's where the power is no words no speech no nothing the word of god let me tell you guys something conviction is not Conviction, unless there's correction. O manus kai sub kai panavelis varokon for doing wrong. She will tell a judge, you're going to jail. No, you're going to a correctional facility. Very good. And there they're going to correct you. And if you don't get corrected, then you you're, then you haven't been, your conviction is not good enough. Mm. You... I mean, we just get convicted. Yo, I'm convicted. I'm convicted. At least the Holy Spirit is working in you because you're convicted. But I have correction. 
The conviction yeah. is supposed to start something that no correction. But Very I may good, make something new. I may have a Well, as long as you get convicted, me still, the Holy Spirit's working in your life. But you never get the correction because you're always happy with conviction. Very good, Pastor. Very good. The Holy Spirit. It. Let me tell you something. A, a people will argue. Well, the Holy Spirit only convicts one. Conviction means two different things. Conviction means they scabbled the Chorong, and then the Holy Spirit will remind you of your convictions. Sopa chas, satribute traiz, what you confess. And when you live according to those convictions, Sikajo a Christian son. Amen. Omanus that gets out of a the uh, 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 of a correctional facility, I shall the those same thing. Guess what? It's gonna go right back. Didn't learn anything. Mm. Have we learned anything, Shabbatai? Because we're, we're, all we're doing, we, I can't testify like, like James testified, like Paul and Barnabas testified. Signs and wonders, God's grace, Anil healing for Manus. God's grace, yes, Jesus. beautiful Amen. services. God's grace, Anil revival. But truly, are we seeing a change on Emmanuel Manus? No. And that's yeah. because we're that's because we're doing things like we haven't turned, we haven't burned the, the plows, we haven't left the fishing rods, we haven't oh 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 Peter uh uh right back the local fishing rods when Jesus wasn't around anymore. Jean Glass guy says the fishing rods. I penas I'm going fishing. I last this we ate manus pesa. Yeah. Never to go back again. the walls of Jericho, and whoever rebuilds those walls is going to be cursed. Are we rebuilding the walls of Jericho and the Romania? Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. James. After they had stopped speaking, James answered and saying, Brethren, listen to me. Simon has related how God first concerned himself about uh, talking among uh, the Gentiles, a people uh, for his name. With this, the words of the prophets agree, just as it is written, after these things, I will return. I will rebuild the tabernacle of David, which has fallen. I will rebuild its ruins. I will restore it so that the rest of mankind Mankind, the rest of mankind may seek the Lord, and all the Gentiles who are called by my name say, says the Lord, who makes these things known from long ago. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start something new on the Amos 9. I'm going to start something new. I said to Yuziv Manu's son that the Jew never expected. I said that he called Jewish Manus, because they missed it. I said that jealous him, because I Manus son, that they think are dogs, mm. that they think are wretched, that they think don't deserve. Well, I'm going to start to use them to rebuild, to do something mm. new, to create something <laughs> that I intended. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My God. I am we give up on people. Me mm. mandar me kangri, full of uh, drug addicts to be set free, full of alcoholics to be set free, full of people that are willing to leave a, a, a lifestyle, whatever it is, business, a personal lifestyle, a, a belief, a, a behavior, whatever it is. I want people to be open to change for the glory of God. They mm. teach you That's how the that's how the book of Acts came to us. That's how the church in Antioch at Jesus in 2021. Because they were willing to change for the glory of God. So they were willing to turn away from it. Thank you, Jesus. I think so told after he quotes scripture, oh James, therefore it is my judgment. <laughs> we make bad judgment calls. Bad judgment calls on the Amaro trial. Forget about we judge others. On the Amaro trial, we make bad judgment calls. I oh, oh, oh James Motol, listen. 
I made a I made a judgment. Sometimes it's important. That's it. I judge this situation. We're too wishy-washy. Oh, oh, James, this is James Kaichipa Chalas on the deal. You know that? This is, we, we read that the other James died when mm -hmm. he was in jail. That's this right. This is the brother of Jesus, Kaichipa yeah. Chalas on the Jesus. That's now right. Now he came to know Christ and he's willing to stand up. He's not the, the, the three and a half year old Christian, the four year old Christian. He's a newborn again believer and he's willing to make a judgment call. We've gotten weaker throughout the years. And we're not willing to make a judgment. I think I old James will talk. I have judged, I've made a judgment that we do not trouble those who are turning to God from among the Gentiles, but that we write to them with the uh, to abstain from things uh, contaminated by idols. One. The first thing I penazo James, Pena, let's write a letter to them and let's give them four things. One is get a company from things that are given to idols. That's an offense against God. When we start to make idols out of something, it offends God. And that's what James is saying. Let's no longer idols because that will offend God. Then he goes on and says, they're in from fornication. Because that offends the body, the temple. Hang on, let's tell them not to offend God and not to offend the temple of God. Omanus, te trae le cuento trae, te ara cope, cata de buchale le lumiaca. Because we don't want to offend God and we don't want to offend his temple. Listen, that's number two, number three. And from what is strangled. country that was strangled. So let's not offend God with idols. Let's not offend the temple that God has made the body. And let's not offend our brothers. Let's not offend the Jewish nation. Let's not offend them. Because what's going to happen is we're going to we're going to eat these things in our freedom. I should do Kajon. No big deal. We don't have to, we don't have to do certain things. They're not hurt these amount of palace. I got God, the last one is finger. They're not Han Orat because God made an ordinance in Leviticus that the life is in the blood. Let's respect Otrayo Kai Meklazodel. Fourteen Shawlari. Simple. And a little further down, we'll talk essentials. Very simple essentials don't offend god be a good witness love your brother as you love yourself and think about life think about life bring others to life now don't disrespect life don't disrespect god's creations don't disrespect god's creation he goes on but we are to write to them to abstain the things committed to idols from fornication, from what is strangled, and from blood. For Moses, from the ancient generation, has in every city those who preach him, since he is read in the synagogues every Sabbath. Think we can do this, guys, because they manus jinen pa Moses every week. Let's aventi a These are essential things. Chidu kavas kanikas. I cheat us parimos bivarekasti. 22. Then it seemed good to the apostles and the elders with the whole church to choose men from among them and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. Judas called, uh, Judas called Barnabas and Silas, leading men among the brethren. And they sent this letter by them, the apostles and the brethren who the elders to the brethren in Antioch in Syria and uh, Cilicia, who are from the Gentiles, greetings. They sent this letter with these four things that they were. Four essentials. They sent this letter. Since we have heard that some of our number to whom we gave no, inst uh, no instructions have disturbed you, 
with their words, unsettling your souls. Saying, oh, we heard Kadukajilan because you heard that you got to do a certain act. And because of that certain act, Dukajilan, and your soul was unsettled. Well, now we're sending you this letter. It seemed good to us having become of one mind to select men to send to you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, men who have risked their lives for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, we had sent Judas and Silas, who themselves will also report the same thing by word of mouth. For it seemed good to the Holy Spirit. Dicks <laughs> today, O Holy Spirit. We don't even consult the Holy Spirit anymore. Mm. Ping, it seemed good to the Holy Spirit. They didn't say first it seemed good to us. I mean, we, we recommend things to the Holy Spirit. We lead the Holy Spirit. I got one more time. It seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us to lay upon you no great burden than these essentials that you abstain from the sacrifice idols and from blood and from things strangled and from the fornication. If you keep yourself free from such things, you will do well. Amen. Uh, Pastor, can I add something? Come on. Real quick. Thank you, Jesus. Notice that he brings the Holy Spirit. Then I get in one come one do beside their argument. Then I get in one because my consulate won. God, we beat you. And that is we won. Hey. No, no, Nasco though. He mentioned the Holy Spirit to make sure Kamichi could them conchi. It wasn't my doing. This ain't my teaching. This ain't my letter. This is the work of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And Amen. that's what we need to do. Oh, John, I must decrease and he must increase. Notice how he brings the Holy Spirit here. Not the beginning of the Chasadeo debate. No, Chief. Chief Hazemi Tusa. Lazemi Paladel. Paladel, I'm not arguing with you. Paladel Lama. Paladel Holy Spirit Lama. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Jesus. It's essential. Dixo Penazo James, we've given to you these essentials. Mm. There used to be essentials on the Kangri. Hey. There used to be essentials in Christians. Lord have mercy. Are we still living by the essentials? Where we don't offend God, we don't offend his temple, we don't offend his word, we don't offend. Are we living by the essentials? I think when they left, and when they left that place, they bid farewell. So when they were sent away, they went down to Antioch and having gathered in the congregation together, they delivered the letter. And when they had read it, Dixon was told, they rejoiced mm. because of the encouragement, Judas and Silas, uh, also being prophets themselves, encouraged uh, this and strengthened the brethren with lengthy messages. After they had spent time there, they uh, were sent away from the brethren in peace. And those who had sent them out, but it seemed good to Silas to remain there. But Paul and Barnabas stayed in Antioch teaching and preaching on many other occasions. Also, the word of the Lord. Now, I want to tell you something. They encouraged the manus, and the people were at peace. Is our message encouraging or discouraging? If we're discouraging people, they'll never reach the relationship that God wants to have with them. You're not worthy. Now, we just talked about the essentials to what this Kabbalah kind of Christian, a Christian, uh, what they believe. They have to show that in the way they live. But if we're not willing to help someone, if we're not willing to encourage someone to live that life, and all we're going to do is judge them and condemn them, they're never going to get there. They're never going to be, they're always going to be discouraged from getting closer to God. I got God, these people that they read that letter, I put in my they Amen. were encouraged. Thank you, Jesus. Shavuladi, we've got to start giving encouragement, even to Christians, mm. to the lost, that God loves them, that God can turn it around. I think make us from our old ways. In 36. Amen. After some days, Paul and Barnabas let us return and visit the brethren in every city where we proclaim the word of the Lord. 
and see how they are. Now Jean and Paul and Barnabas, and they're going and and and, and they're going to back to the same cities that they were in. They check in for Manus. Barnabas wanted to take Mark along with them, uh, but Paul kept insisting that they should not take him along uh, because he deserted them in Pamphylia and had not gone with them to the work. And it occurred such a sharp disagreement. I want to tell you guys something. There's going to be disagreements. There's always going to be disagreements. But make sure we make them right. We're never going to, we're never, we're always going to disagree with someone or something. But let's make sure we make it right. Dixon Motopia, no 2 Timothy 4.11. Write that down. Look at it later. Oh, Paul, that was so strong about Mark not joining them. Later on tells Timothy, call Mark. I need him. <laughs> He's good for my ministry. Amen. Uh, Pastor, some people, say, some people say that 1 Corinthians the, uh, 13, the love chapter, was wrote. Palakako dispute. Ah, uh, yeah. Very good. Very yeah. good. Man. Yeah. There's going to be, guys, there's always going to be debates and disputes, but make, let's make sure that something great comes out of it, that God has shown. Let's make sure that we don't give up on uh, someone. Let's make sure that we make it right. Amen. I think how Paul made it right. Amen. Now, there was a sharp disagreement and they separated of one another. And Barnabas took Mark with him and sailed to uh, Cyprus. But Paul chose Silas. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you know the scripture on the on Romans that God works all things for good? Amen. You would never have a Paul and Silas story <laughs> if it wasn't hey. for this debate. Hey, amazing. So amazing. Paul chose Silas and they left being committed uh, by the being commended by the brethren and the grace of the Lord. And he was traveling through Syria and uh, uh, Cilicia, strengthening the church. Amen. It ends with strengthening the church, Shabbatari, and that's what we need to do. Amen. Our old Amen. ways, whatever it is, religion, our old customs, our old way of thinking. It won't yeah. not strengthen the church. Yeah. There's going to be disputes. There's going to be sharp words. There's going to be separation. But let's make sure we strengthen the church, the people, the Amen. people of God. Amen, Pastor. Let's make sure that we don't allow things that we grew up in, our old man, our old man, our old thinking. Let's not allow that to weaken the church. Because the church was strengthened when they were willing to turn away from their old ways. Amen. I'm not talking to a building. I'm talking to the church of Acts, which is you. You are the temple. You are the new thing God is doing. Amen. No longer a building. No longer a curtain that you have to go behind. No longer... Uh, uh, an area. No. Now that that presence lives in us. I am made to able to strengthen Kudabuchi. And it will never be strengthened, Shavagari. Never. If we don't turn from our old ways. That's it. Amen. That's it. Amen. We'll never gain anyone. Uh, it's not about a numbers thing. Well, the Bible clearly says in Acts that every chapter we read that the, 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 the church increased. People mm -hmm. were added. Yes. We need to start adding. We need to start increasing. We need to start growing the right way. The right way. Let's get rid of the old religion. Even if it means, even if it's the church religion, even if it's the Christian religion, let's get rid of it. Amen. Let's get rid of it so God can do something great. And we can, we can just like uh, uh, James, just like Paul and Barnabas, we can testify the signs and wonders. Amen.
Miklepele manus kataro drabarimos. Miklepele manus kataro choho business. Miklepele manus kataro choho lifestyle. God restored families. God took us conviction to manus pe jubli ko mors. They shall paupri katenga families to restore their children. God is uh, the, to, to uh, break, break the, the chains of the drugs and alcohol and addiction of gambling and to show that we're 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 born again, a new creation. Let's strengthen the church. Let's be compassionate to one another. Let's not uh, count anyone out because they don't live up to our standards. We don't have any standards. It's Christ's standards we all need to live up to. Amen. 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 Well, we lost some guys during this, and I understand. Yeah. But the guys that are here, to miss any Kangali de Debleski, you guys are the church. You guys are the, the 120 in the room. You guys Amen. are the apostles. You, oh, oh, Pastor Jimmy Pendaz, that the book of Acts did not stop because Satchabi Law Del. If right. we were to write it, we can still continue. How are we doing? How can we add? How can we add to this? How can we add to the church that started in Antioch? How can we increase the number? Let's start by the essentials. Let's just turn from the old ways and let's live up to the essentials. Let's love one another. Let's love God. Let's watch ourselves from offending. If it's if we're going to offend someone, let's offend them because we're standing up for the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Oh, no, sir. I, I just want to uh, how do we do this? Come on. Can I have can I have a few minutes? You can have more than that. <laughs> okay. How do we do this? Okay. This is how we do it by grace and truth. A Bible panel that oh Jesus the grace and truth. Amen. Over here we see Barnabas the grace. Gilota little mark. He left with him. Chimoklad is a great. Chimoklad is a grace. And then Paul stood up for the truth. Because Kamajalta don't mark. But what happens when they work together? Let me tell you. Silas joined. And what was the purpose of that? He spoke Greek. Mm. He spoke Greek. Very good. God, yeah. And he needed to, to get to the Greeks. Take it to, to another area. Very <laughs> good. Yeah, you, you get it? Oh. So this is what happens. Amenga looks like it's a it's a tragedy. It's a, it's a dispute. It's an argument. But when we mix grace and truth together, because it's Jesus... He's he's got a plan. He's either Very adding good. somebody or he's subtracting somebody to get the word to the people. And this is how we let go of the old traditions. This is how we purify our hearts. This is how we get the dispute through grace and truth. Amen. Amen. That's all I want to say. Let's be honest with God, with ourselves. That's true. Yeah. And let's remember the grace given to us. Let's extend that to others. Amen. 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 Uh, hey, uh, Steve Tron, you there? Yes, sir. Close us out in prayer unless anyone's got anything to come <laughs> here. Does nobody else got anything to say then? All right, then. Hallelujah, We thank you for this night, Mola Devla. Amen, Jesus. Amen, Jesus. Amen, Jesus. For Saku Fallow, Mola Devla Kashundam, the Besola Mensa, Mola Devla. Amen. Devla, I pray for every person in this room, Mola Devla, Jesus, that we would be, Mola Devla, the disciples, Mola Devla, that you want us to be, Father God Devla. Amen, Jesus. Jukaras, Mola Gara Kazels, Mola Devla. But Devla, so that we, Mugoda Devla, could take your word forward, Mugoda Devla. Amen, Devla, Jesus. Mugoda Devla, for everything that you've done for us, Mugoda Devla. Devla, I pray for everyone in this room that you stand watch over us until we meet again, Father God, Devla. May your protection be on everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless every one of you, gentlemen. Next week, chapter 16, we're going to see how sometimes the things we want to do, it's not God's timing. Then we're going to see the story about Paul and Silas. We're going to see some great things. So please, guys, let's study uh, chapter 16. Uh, let's get into it. I expect everyone to share next week. Okay?
Amen. Amen. Praise God. The penopen of 16. What must I do to be saved? <laughs> Believe in Jesus Christ and you Amen. and your household will be saved. Amen. Amen. Good night, guys. Amen. I Good night, everybody. God, God bless. God bless, God bless everybody. Love you guys. Good night. Love you too. Good night.